Hi Aquarius, welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. So, these are, let me just go over my regular spiel. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Also, welcome to all my cross watchers. And this reading is going to be specifically for relationships you guys are dealing with over the next couple of weeks, okay? So, let's just kind of see what comes up. Again, this could be family... Friends, co-workers, significant other, spouse. So just kind of take whatever resonates with you. And let's see what else. Um, if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. Also, if you guys would like to make a good karma donation, that information is also located down below. And just want to say thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for everyone who has made a donation. I appreciate that so much. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in and see what's going on for you guys and your relationships. Aquarius. So let's see what's up. Oh, and there we go. Ooh, we've got deception. Okay, Aquarius. Um, it says someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So, yep. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty straightforward. It looks like there's some deception going on. I'm just going to pull out one, one more card. Just some, as a main theme. Oh, they're saying to cut the deck there. Okay. Hmm. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love, right, love life right now. So Aquarius, you could be in a relationship with someone where <laughs> there's some deception going on when it comes to money and finances. Okay, um, like I said to you, this could even be a work situation where maybe a boss is like hiding finances you know like you're asking for a raise and they're not being straight up like there's definitely some type of a deception going on when it comes to money and career and finances so either in your relationship or you know the other thing I'm picking up too is maybe Aquarius I, I, this is so random but like I said these are so general so I've got to you know take whatever resonates with you but for some of you Aquarius you could be in a relationship where you're actually doing well and someone is like mm. jealous I don't know why but that's like popping out to me so let me see what else comes up to clarify this oh spirit's saying to grab that but i didn't i saw the ten of wands and that's kind of what i do so we've got justice Co so what i'm getting here aquarius whatever is going on in this situation for some of you aquarius i mean with this combination this could be legal so this could be some contracts for some of you this absolutely could be work and career so keep that in mind for some of you um but what i am seeing is this deception, like, the scales are going to balance out, because this is all about cause and effect, okay? <laughs> this is, like, consequences to our actions. So whatever is going on, like, the thing that always pops out to me with this is this sword of truth and the scales balancing. You see that? So there's this sword of truth that is popping out to me. So... Um, whatever deception is going on, the truth is going to come out in this situation for, so let me see what else comes up. This is interesting. So we've got the king of wands. So you could actually, this is an actual person. Okay. So it could be a fire sign. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you're dealing with, or just someone very, um, like fiery and charismatic. So I definitely want to see say that this is the outside person, okay? I don't see this coming up as you, Aquarius. I see that this is the other person where maybe they are being the deceptive one and there is going to be some type of justice in this situation. Let's see what else pops out. This is very specific, very, very specific here, okay? 
Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to pull this one out. We've got the Three of Wands. So I can see, like, maybe Aquarius, you have an idea of it. And you've been very patient. This is like waiting for your ships to dock, like my Law of Attraction card. So you're kind of like wanting to manifest maybe a different situation or relationship. Maybe you are kind of sensing this deception with this person. Like I said, for some of you, this could be a boss, okay? This could be an actual boss. And you, like, maybe you're not getting the raise you wanted. Or for some of you that are in relationships, maybe you're sensing that um, the, the partner that you're with is being deceptive when it comes to money. And, like, just as far as finances and career, you're just not feeling satisfied with this person. And you're wanting to manifest, like, a completely different relationship and situation and then here we've got the knight of swords so there might be some communication and i want to say that it's like harsh like there's that could be actually you aquarius because that's air sign yeah that's the swords so i feel like that could be you coming out and communicating and and like i want to say calling this person on their crap like, I want to, and that might be a part of the justice is you, you're sensing this deception and you're ready to call this person out. And maybe that's part of this manifestation is you're wanting to have like a conversation and get some things out on the table. Like you want justice for sure. Interesting. So we've got the five of swords. So there, there's definitely been a lot of conflict in this relationship again swords there i'm sensing too there's been some manipulation with this some lies there's definitely like an impasse this relationship it's kind of like a no win situation between the two of you and you're you're like wanting to walk away from that for sure is what i'm getting so let's kind of pull out the other side of this energy what's kind of i want to see what's going to pull out um on the other side of the situation yeah we've got another five fives are conflict in the tarot so there's definitely a lot of conflict going on in this situation this is arguments i mean right on top of that five of swords there's tons of conflict going on you're ready to communicate it like you i feel like you might have already been doing that and that's why you guys are at this impasse with each other like a no-win situation so let's see what else pops up okay we've got the hanged man so you might feel stuck okay but you're actually getting a big perspective shift this is happening to like this hanged man they're not they're just kind of chilling you know that's where you almost have to go sorry that's not focusing but this person isn't like hung up by their neck. They're hung up by their legs. Okay, so they're just kind of in this, like, they're not in pain. They're just being kind of strung up. So you are you might feel stuck, but you're seeing things from a different point of view. And that's why this whole situation is happening because it's helping you. It's It's helping in your growth in your spiritual growth, in looking at people from different angles. And that's why it's happening. It's giving you a different perspective on people and helping you learn. And because with the fives in conflict, we don't know what we do want until we know what we don't want. That's how life is. So that's why this is all happening because you're, you're figuring out your worth is what I'm hearing. Ooh, okay, yeah, look at that. We've got six of pentacles. So I want to say that, yeah, what's going on right now, this is a lack of generosity, okay? It's, it's where there's not an even give and take. But the awesome thing, like I said, this is the other side of the energy. There is actually a better situation that will be coming in for you. And that's why I love that it came out with the Three of Wands, the Law of Attraction Manifestation card. So you will be manifesting a better situation where there's an even give and take. 
okay, where you're not attracting people that are selfish, you, you will be, this is like my charity card and like an equal give and take. So you will be manifesting that, Aquarius. Let's see what else pops out. Okay, there we go. So we've got the Seven of Cups. So what I'm getting with that is there will be some... Whatever it is, your dreams, that you will be manifesting them, okay? Just stay positive in this situation. Kind of go into a state of surrender because whenever you try to fight these situations, you keep yourself stuck even longer. This hanged man is more of in a surrendering state of mind. So just surrender to the situation and you'll move out of it faster, believe it or not. And then we've got the Nine of Cups. I love that. Yes, Aquarius. Okay. So here's like you kind of dreaming up something new. And here's your wishes and dreams coming true. And that's, I love that it's coming out with this Justice card on top. This is things balancing out and turning in your favor where you're getting the things that you want and deserve. Your wishes and dreams coming true. And I wanted to pull out earlier the Ten of Cups. I didn't. And that's what I always do. But it did pop out. Okay. And that's where you're getting your Tenth Cup. Where you have ultimate emotional fulfillment. So I did see that. Okay. Um, that popped right out. Yeah. Yeah. Take back your power. I love this card. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. So... Aquarius, take your power back over the situation, okay? Whatever you need to do, kind of envision yourself as taking your power back. And that's really going to help you um, transition out of this relationship, this career, whichever it applies for you. Okay, you guys, again, got to take it however it resonates. But... Oh, yes. I'm going to take this card that popped out. So we've got passion. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your life and career, in your love life and career. I love that that popped out. So yeah, this is definitely about career, finances, and love life. So um, this is the solution, Aquarius. Take your power back and follow your passions. Whatever it is that lights you up, that's how you're going to up-level in your vibration and move out of this whole situation. Just do whatever lights you up right now, okay? That's your solution. Absolutely, because that will raise your vibration and you will not be a vibrational match to this person, this situation, maybe this career that you're in. Whatever situation that it is you might feel stuck in, this is your solution. Take your power back. Decide to change it and follow that passion, whatever it is. That's going to help you so much, Aquarius. So yeah, this looks all really positive. That's your solution right there. I hope that helps you guys so much. I am wishing you all the very best. Those are your messages for the next couple weeks. And I will see you guys next week for your reading. Take care.